Hi, it's my healthy here and beyond dot com again, and I'm coming to you with part two of my collective haul. Um, this section of the haul is going to be shoes, fashion, and jewelry. Um, I have some shoes that I picked up from AJ Wright. Um, I bought these because of this part right here, and I figured that they would go great with some it's jeans. Just, but yeah, these I got from AJ Wright. They were seventeen ninety nine. Um. I like these. They're nice and comfortable. Um, I haven't really worn them yet besides in the house. Um, these, I do not remember the price. Um, the, the brand is Baby Fat. So I got these also from AJ Wright. And there's the little Baby Fat oh, there's the little Baby Fat cat right there. Um, these are super duper comfortable. I love these. I've not worn these yet either. But I will. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and I have some things that I decided to get from Rainbow. Um, this shirt. It's a nice shirt. I like this shirt. It's got, it's fitted around the waist and I can choose to put a big belt with it if I want to. But, um, yeah. I got this from Rainbow and it was actually on the clearance for $5. Money. It's nothing wrong with saving money. I love it. But yeah, I got this shirt off the clearance rack. Um, and I said it's fitted in the waist. I like that part too. Um, this is a dress. It's a halter dress. A halter skirt. Well, no, a halter dress. But me, I like the details in it. I actually have to wear this with some tights or some leggings because this is see-through. <laughs> and I can't be walking around with see-through clothes. But yeah, I got this from Rainbows. And this was $9.99. This stuff is stuff that I've had for a while and just held on to and didn't put it on my blog. But if you follow my blog, you know that I said that I had picked up some things for haul and that um, I wasn't posting them yet. And I also picked up a rumper from Rainbows. This is my first time getting a rumper. Um, I was kind of skeptical about getting it because... I have a little bit too much booty to be trying to put in this little section here of shorts. <laughs> but it's it's a nice romper. Um, it covers what it needs to cover, which is good. But yeah, it's a halter and it's a romper. So this was $16.99. I remember the price for this, but this was $16.99. Um, now I will show you the jewelry that I got today. I took my um, girls and we started at the little jewelry store store thing in the mall and I left them pick up some things and I picked up some things but this is what I picked up this necklace oh this stuff was a dollar but yeah this necklace I'm starting to focus more on things that are chunky and detailed because as you know if you follow my blog that I just started really wearing jewelry that it's not like real jewelry I've just started wearing like costume jewelry and now that I've gotten like the plain stuff, I'm focusing more on things that are chunky and have like design and all that stuff. So yes, this comes with the little earrings here, which are so cute. I love the earrings. And then you have the matching necklace. And it's got three separate strands plus this strand here, which I like. Um, I also picked up these earrings, which are kind of more uh, chandelier -y type of earrings. But yeah, these earrings I picked up. I like these too. These will work pretty well. I like these also. These were a dollar also. Everything was a dollar. And I picked up these earrings. As I said before, I'm focusing on things that are chunky now. Not um like not like these hoops. I'm not focusing on those types of things anymore. I'm focusing more on building my jewelry collection of chunky things that have design and detail and if this zooms in you'll see the detail which on this is really actually nice and it's actually three-dimensional um yeah it's three-dimensional this is the other side you can see how thick it is i love it this type of stuff yeah i love this and the last thing i picked up was a ring i'm again focusing on more costumey type jewelry that has dimension and depth. And this I love. 
and I love how this camera zooms in on it. Excuse my manicure. But yes, I love this ring. Um, it's a flower and it's got little rhinestones all around it. So yeah. And yeah. If I can fit it, but yeah. I'll have to adjust it. Because right now it does not fit on any of my fingers. But yes, this is the ring. And I like it. I like it a lot. Um, that is the end of my haul. I don't have anything else to show you. This is the new Xbox 360. It's upside down. Yes. It's not hooked up. We haven't tested it out. We haven't played it yet. I'll open it for you. So that you can see what it looks like. We opened it earlier. But, um, ooh, I'm getting blurry. We opened it earlier to see what it looked like and everything. And so it's not wrapped in plastic anymore. This is the new 360. I love how it looks. I love the slinkiness of it. And I don't like that it just showed my house. But yeah, I love how it looks. This is the new 360. Um, and we're going to have fun playing it. Let's put this back in back. Oh, I want to show you the back hookup of it too. As you can see, it does not have an external hard drive like all the other 360s do. No, no external hard drive. These are the connections. These are the connections. Right here. You have your power part here. This is where you put your power at. Your power plug. Um, the cords for it look exactly the same. This is the plug for it. Which we all know what this looks like if we play video games. Um, what else? It's got three USB ports. Um, it's got an Ethernet cable. And it's got a another, um, I don't know what kind of port this is. Oh, this would be probably for a flash drive or something. I don't know what this one is for. Um, you have your HDMI um, plug right there. And then you have this plug right here, which I don't know what this does either. But, yeah. This is the new Xbox. Um, and I'll show you the controller. This is the headset it comes with, which these headsets really, yeah, these headsets are not, they don't withstand things. So this is the controller. This is what the controller looks like. It's exactly the same. Um, let's see if it'll focus. It's nothing really for to focus on, but yeah. This is the controller. Um, with the little port. I'm blurry again. With the little port for the battery to charge and all that good stuff. But yeah. I wanted to show you the cables. Because, because the cables look exactly the same. And as you can see, this is what it comes with when you get it. And of course it comes with batteries. But yeah. Um, here are the controllers, I mean not the controllers, the plugs, you have your, and I like the box, I don't know why, I'm, I, I'm a person that is happy with detail, um, and this box, I like how it's packaged, I love packaging, I'm blurry again, hmm, okay, so I love packaging, and inside this box, if you look inside, You'll see that they have little pictures of what goes in what compartment. And it's blurry again, but yeah. What goes in what compartment. You can see it's got a nice clear picture. So I like that. But yes, this is the power cord. Which looks exactly like the old one. Don't know if um, the old hookups will fit into this. Probably not. Um, and this is the plug to go to the TV. What they do not sell with the new Xbox is the cords to transfer the data from your old Xbox to the new one. So, that's how Microsoft is going to make that little bit of extra money. <laughs> By charging you extra for the cords. You can do it with a flash drive, which my husband and I will be doing. Using the flash drive to transfer information. But yeah, that's the new Xbox. So yeah. Thanks for coming by my channel and this is the end of my haul.